Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna, if you're new here. So my mom is coming over shortly. Um, she should be here pretty soon. But we're about to go to lunch and just do a little shopping. I've been really busy redecorating my whole house. I'm the type of person who, if I don't change something or I'm not creative, it literally drives me insane. I have not redecorated my apartment since I've been here, which is going on two years. So that's what I've been busy doing and Y'all know decorating a house or an apartment, your room, whatever, it's stressful. <sighs> Don't mind my room right now. I'm literally um, about to strip my sheets so I can wash them tonight. Let me go ahead and finish taking these off actually i kind of want to wear a set today let's see what i have okay i guess brown is the vibe if you seen my most recent post i literally wore brown and tan yesterday and if you follow me on tiktok follow me on tiktok y'all because i'm starting to use tiktok to like post like what i wear in a day or like my outfit of the day i started doing those and people really seem to like it so i know like usually on instagram i kind of stop tagging all these because y'all not paying me to tag y'all on instagram so um i just do it on tiktok because that's just more enjoyable but i think i'm going to wear this brown set my mom bought it for me was it for christmas or for my birthday i don't know which one but it, she got me this brown um set off of amazon comes with a sports bra and since it is kind of chilly i might just put a tan hoodie over it Here's the fit. I think mine is a size medium. But honestly, y'all, I need some tan Yeezy slides or foam runners because like that would be the perfect shoe to wear with this fit. But I don't have any. I have no tan shoe. Besides heels, like who's wearing heels with this? <laughs> Like it. Is it supposed to be hanging from the bottom or what? Yeah, because the hanger is at the top. It just looks incomplete. I'll just stick some flowers on it. But why should you buy something and have to go home and do work with it? Matcha made in heaven. Do you get it? <laughs> He's still on the No, I think this one's the funniest. I don't care at all. That's the funniest thing I've seen all day. You said it's low? Hater. Hater. Y'all, tell me why I'm so late to my internship. <laughs> like, no exaggeration. I'm like 30 minutes behind. Like, I haven't even left home yet. I have to drink my liquid chlorophyll. I have to make a smoothie. I went to sleep so early last night, I didn't even cook dinner. So, I have nothing to take to lunch today. Like, I'm just like, bro, what is going on? Y'all know that sound on TikTok. It's like, I'm having one of those moments. I'm having one of those moments. I'm having one of those moments. That's me right now.
Hey y'all, so I just got back home from my internship and today was a pretty good day. I can't complain. I came home and changed into this cute set that I got from Shein. I got it last year. And mine is a size medium, by the way. But I feel like TikTok is really helping me get my life all the way together. Like it's snatching me up by the freaking ear. Like it's like, girl, let's get it together. I seen this TikTok today and basically the girl was like, you're a lady in these streets, but you're a bum at the crib. And I really didn't know what she meant. I was like, what are you talking about? But basically she was saying how a lot of times women, they always put their best foot forward when they know they might be seen by someone or they're going to a special event or whatever the case may be. But when they're at home, they're kind of like in this bum nature, you know, like hair all over the place, wearing big baggy clothes that doesn't really make them feel good. That's like the story of my life. So you know me, I always run to the comment section when I'm on TikTok, always. And I've seen so many women saying how like, yes girl, like being cute for myself in the comfort of my home or even when I'm not doing anything, it has done tremendous numbers for my mental health, for her, my confidence, my self-esteem and all of that. And I was like, wow, it's just crazy how something so simple can make such a big impact on how people feel about themselves and I feel like that is something that I can do you know I could do this I could get cute for myself when I'm at home and I feel like I really appreciate seeing different videos like this on TikTok because I feel like in a way it just allows me to make subtle changes to my life without being so overwhelmed with doing a whole 180 in one night you know so that's what I'm gonna start doing from now because I feel really good today and I'm pretty sure if I make this a habit I'm just gonna like continuously feel like I'm that girl okay and I want all y'all to feel like y'all that girl too. Like I really do. <sighs> so yeah. Hi guys, y'all see I got all this stuff in the back of my car, but that's because I'm about to head to, oh, I gotta take my trash. I'll just circle back around. I have to take my trash, go to Goodwill to drop all this stuff that's in the back seat and I have some stuff in the trunk. I got a whole bunch of stuff. I've been doing really good this week. Today's Thursday. I grocery shopped on Sunday and I haven't eaten out since Sunday so I think I'm gonna try to keep it up that's why I'm gonna just run my little errands and bring my ass back home these last couple of weeks I've been eating out entirely too much and I told myself I really want to like start making some changes not saying I'm about to be vegan and working out five times a week but I feel like change should always start small that way it doesn't feel like you're depriving yourself of things but I'm about to run my errands so I can come back home, eat some leftovers, and call it a night. Hi everyone! I did dye my hair last night and I actually love this color. I feel like this was the color I was trying to go for in the first place, but like I said in my previous vlogs, they didn't have the color pink that I wanted, especially, excuse me, they didn't have the brand that I wanted. So. I didn't vlog me dyeing my hair last night because literally I just put the pink dye on top of what I already had. I didn't do anything special. So literally straight out the bottle onto my hair. I let it sit for 30 minutes and then I just went about my regular wash routine. But the color that I used was the Adore Pink Rose. This is what it looks like. And literally when I say Adore is the best brand that you could use if you want to do a semi-permanent color. Like purple pink red whatever the case may be you know they have all the colors but just make sure your beauty supply store has a door in stock but yeah i love it it's giving it's very bright it's very vibrant but i'm all done up because i'm actually about to take pictures 
and y'all know i've been mia on instagram but i'm feeling really good and i really want to get back in the swing of things and i really want to just really dedicate myself so let's just go ahead and get right into it winter is coming over so i could do her makeup if y'all don't follow me or my business page i basically quit doing lashes i was tired of it and I feel like I got into lashes just because I was bored during quarantine and I just like trying new things like honestly like you never know if you like something until you try it. I tried it for going on two years and I just realized it wasn't for me like as much as I tried to be passionate about it I just wasn't. It's just so tedious it's very much glamorized when it shouldn't be. <sighs> yes the money is good but that's literally probably the only reason why I kept doing lashes because it was keeping the bills paid. But I feel like I was just doing it so much. It was so time consuming. It's bad on your back. You're resting your neck. And I don't know about y'all, but my lash clients, they were just really particular, really rude. And I just didn't like it. So I quit. And now I'm going to be focusing on things that I actually love, which is makeup. So this month, I'm just going to have like a whole bunch of models come. So I'm really excited. But winter is going to be my first one for this week. Um, I just made a smoothie. I know it looks it. But I use this one for Walmart. It's the red fruit smoothie. It comes with strawberries, bananas, dark sweet cherries, dragon fruit, and cranberries. I add two drops of liquid chlorophyll. Um, I did ashwagandha, moringa powder, and some type of collagen powder. But that's it. This is good. hi guys so it's a little bit later well it's not a little bit later it's like a lot later um what happened last time y'all seen me i had just finished doing winter's makeup and after that we went to bar taco didn't take any pictures didn't film didn't do anything just because we were just vibing like i hadn't seen her since the last time i did her makeup which was last summer yeah so it's been like almost a year so we just really had a good catch-up session so after that i met with one of my professors on zoom we had to discuss some grades and some expectations and some issues i don't know about y'all but i feel like when you're so close to the finish line everything just seems 10 times more difficult like they want you to do 10 times more it's like you have to put in the work to really like inch over that finish line i feel like that's really what's happening now so we had a talk and like get on the same page about a couple of things but that went okay and after that i literally took a three or four hour nap i don't even know how long like do y'all see the time do y'all see it i feel like something's in my eye but i don't see anything and don't talk about my lashes it's been a long time since i had my lashes done so I'm literally just going to take these out and get a full set. Don't know when I'm going to take them out. I'm not going to take them out yet because, yeah, I'm just not. I'm going to hold on to 
I'm gonna just hold on to them and we'll see how they last. campus surprisingly once in a lifetime <laughs> moment right it's now been forever but we're about to go get my cap and gown and see if we can find some cute unc gear just to have since this will be closing out a chapter so the alumna <laughs> alumna yeah, he almost found yes he did. <laughs> cap and gown and my stole it's getting real y'all it's getting so real like just look at it um I don't know I don't really know how to feel but I am pissed off at one thing <laughs> you're gonna probably think Brianna you have an issue with everything but low-key I do because why was this $102 I feel like I've been here for four years I put in the work blood sweat tears the least y'all could do is give me a free cap and gown with stole and a free frame for my degree. Literally it. Like, I was looking at the frames. The frames cost like $165 up to $300. What? Make it make sense. But nonetheless, I am very happy. I got my stuff. But all I'm about to do is... um wash some clothes because I have my laundry to wash and I'm also figuring out what I'm going to be selling on Depop so this is what I have going on <sighs> including that hamper so it's a lot of laundry to be done and I also have work usually um, I have my internship like I said but they're on spring break this week so I'm just going to be spending this time getting some stuff done, doing some homework, getting ahead on a couple of tasks. So I'm just gonna do that really quick or it might take all night, but it's okay if it does cause I'm not doing anything else. But yeah, let's go ahead and start getting some stuff done. Hi everyone. 
I can't open my eye right now, so disregard that. But I'm currently taking off my lashes. And I do one eye at a time. Like, this eye is done, but this one, like, whoo, this one's giving me hell. I'm not gonna take them out yet, because it just burns so bad. <sighs> Don't do this at home. But let me reposition y'all, because I'm about to be focused. Oh, I hope y'all come off quick because I don't have time. Okay, they're coming off pretty good. Much faster than the other one. Whew. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I look different without lashes. Like, and I'm not saying it in a bad way, you know? You get used to having eyelashes. <laughs> you look a little different without them. But it's all good because, shout out to my mother. I'm about to go to the hookah lounge with Jordan. And I don't know what type of makeup look I want to go for. I really don't feel like doing my makeup, but I want something on my face. I want a little something something just because I don't have lashes. Like, I feel like I do look very pretty. Like, for some reason, I expected for myself to be like, oh my God, you look freaking hideous. But I don't feel that way, you know? I'm just like, oh, I mean, hey, I'm just playing Jane, but it's like, I'm still cute, you know? So, that's the type of vibe I'm on. This is one reason why I'm so ready to move, because the people above me, they're so loud and it's only three of them it's literally like an older couple not older like as an elderly but like they're like in their 40s like they're older than me um so they're like a middle-aged couple and they have a teenage daughter she's probably in high school if not she's probably like, like an eighth grader like she's like a low-key grown um and they just sound like they be thumping and jumping and doing all this humping every night and every day all just every hour like it just doesn't matter like they're always doing something it sounds like they're moving furniture one day i'm thinking they about to move out they ain't going nowhere i'm just like bro and like i don't want to say nothing because i just don't want to be like a karen like, i don't think they do it intentionally because i remember one time they stopped me in the parking lot they was like hey i'm so sorry if we're loud and me me and me i was like trying to be nice I was like, oh, you know, don't worry about it. I was like, you're fine, you're fine. No one damn well that shit pisses me off. I should have been like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, you do be loud. But no, I wanted to be Miss Nice Girl and be like, you know, it's fine, no, it's fine. And look at them, they're still loud as f I'm sorry, that really just pissed me off. Let's see what we're going to do for this face. I don't want to wear foundation. Maybe I'll just do concealer. I don't want to do too much, like, I just don't feel like doing nothing. I'm going to figure it out. But this is what my makeup looks like. I haven't put anything on my eyes, that's why I look a little naked right now. But that's because I have this L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. I remember the last time I took a little break from lashes, I was using this and that was well over a year ago. So I just want to put this on to see how it's going to look. Maybe I should curl my lashes. Hold on. Okay, I'm only curl it one time because sometimes I hear bad things about these. Like how they cut people's lashes and stuff so I'm gonna just do one good press and that's all I'm gonna do because I don't have time for nothing bad to happen we're not doing that so this is what it looks like the wand is like a white primer so I'm gonna put this on maybe two coats I feel like it's doing something. I 
All right, let's see what it's going to do. Okay. Camera died disrespectfully. Ah, oh, there she goes again. I haven't done this in so long. Ah. Okay, period. <laughs> that was so, that was literally like bop, switch. OMJ, it is 9.08. I need to get this show on a roll. But yeah, it's giving. It's giving. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave my hair fluffy. Cause that's giving us well. I feel like that's just what's contributing to the look. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm really not sure what I'm gonna wear. I do wanna be comfy though, cause it is cool. And yeah, it's just a chill, cute night. Ain't none of the extra, okay? Ain't none of the extra. All right, guys. I swear I cannot find anything to wear, but I decided to go with this crop top, some camel pants. These are my shoes. They're actually knee high boots, but I like rolled them halfway just so you can see them. But mm, this is not my favorite fit, but oh well. No one's gonna see me, so it's fine. It's fine. I'm back at home, and it's not because I didn't go out. It's because I did, and it was literally a film. Like, I should just stay at home. And I feel like tonight would have been a really bad night anyway because UNC played Duke in the Final Four, March Madness, and yeah. It was just all over the place. It was too much. I should stay at home, and this is why I don't go out. You all see me until after graduation. I'm not going nowhere. But if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in next week's video. Bye, lovely. Y'all, okay. I know. I was about to end this vlog. But people was blowing up my phone. They were blowing up my phone. They were like, you're in Brad Mondo's new video. I said, wait? <laughs> the Brad Mondo? I'm in his video? What? Y'all, I'm really in Brad Mondo's video literally 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 i'm on i'm his thumbnail babe i'm his thumbnail go watch the video go watch the video literally i had a breakdown about school earlier i was literally crying i was literally crying while typing my assignment i was like bro i'm literally having a breakdown and then i got this like i'm just so happy it's only up from here, y'all. Period. <laughs>